Okay. Un poquito de español. Sometimes. Right. That's it because we just began with your little bit of Spanish. Yeah, because I write everything in Spanish. But I... Right. Does it uh, does, um, make the difference what is important or, or uh -huh. not in the relationship with approach people, my family, my mother, my son, you know? Yeah, we were talking about that before you and I, about the, yeah. about the, in, the intimate relationships exactly. and how they push towards repetitions, right? That the repetitions are what come up first. That's what sure. we were talking sure. about, the stimulus response in that sense. Exactly, right? exactly. So then getting beyond the repetition of the relationship, getting beyond almost, you could say, like the emotional problematic, the emotional conundrum the, mm -hmm. the, which weighs on the relationship. It's like I anticipate what she's going to be like, my mother, mm -hmm. and sure enough, right? That's what she's like. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not enough. That's not enough, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's not me changing. That's just me projecting. So there's no reflection there. There's more, it's still, or there's a little bit of reflection, but it's kind of a kind of reflection that isn't. There's no intentionality behind it. There's no intentionality changing. That's what you were saying before mm -hmm. about how there has to be that intentionality, right? Yeah. There has to almost be co-present. Exactly. The a perception, reversibility, uh -huh. all those sort of stuff, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or inner look. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. In Something else. Something else. Mm. I see. Uh, it's like having trying <laughs> trying to see others with the uh, with this not th that is that not it's with like, a bad intention right, against not, you exactly right. <laughs> Not with a bad intention, period, in the world. Just yeah. see, they're trying, you could say, cope. They're trying to cope as best they can yeah. with, their, with themselves and their lives. I, too, am trying. If I know something that they don't know, it's that. It's that how much my actions way on my own existence, mm -hmm. how much my actions affect my inner amnes, amnes, my inner being, right? And uh, how I can be different with myself if I act with good intentions in the world. Mm -hmm. that, and that, that relationship is not clear in the world around us. Yeah, it's, even very, it's the, very clear to me. They are intentions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotta be bad or good, doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Because if you mm -hmm. say you're going to see all the people with good intention, maybe it's a kind of illusion. Right, that's what I was pointing to. It's like, oh, yeah. I'm going to accept everything. All the people, right. it's nice. And right. I am the bad right. guy. Sometimes exactly. I see right. the people mm, very good. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, it, it, there is some people right. with bad intentions yes. in the world, you know. Yeah. So you know, gotta be. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but that is very important because I, I see myself um, in these two different states, internal state. Uh -huh. um, I know I'm going always in, in that direction, you know. Even if, if I am awake or asleep, you know, but always I'm, I'm going, the direction is clear. Uh -huh. you know? So um, the register in both states are different. Uh -huh. It depends how I am. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oscurecido o luminoso. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. It's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because externally, you say your routine or my routine is almost the same every day, you know, so no big difference. Mm -hmm. But I see the difference, it depends how I am, how yeah. I feel, uh -huh. internally, with level of consciousness, you know. Mm -hmm. 
That's the, the big difference. Yes. And That's also, the is that difference. routine going to elevate me? It's like when we're, when we're doing the internal work, our discipline, it's like we have a routine. And that definitely was moving me up. Sure. But my day-to-day -day routine of coming in and doing this and doing that, you, you have this register of like nothing. Like this. Everything is flat. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So is this unitive? Is this going to move me along? Or, and if it's not, then what am I doing about it? Yeah. You know, then you become kind of like addicted or enchained to that routine. And that's a routine you really don't want. Yeah, I think that the, the, the idea is to, to get training, you know, in, in the how to get the, the, the best register yes. in that kind of mechanic yes. routine. You know? Yes, yes. Because yes. it's you not going to change exactly. the, the routine. You have to go right. to work right. or you have to get right. in this all with the same relationship with some kind of mm -hmm. people, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but not going to change immediately, you know, maybe if you're planning to do some change, mm -hmm. but uh, for a while, but the difference is to get trained, I, I think, uh, how I see myself in the same situation mm -hmm. every day, and how to create that, that new register right. if I don't have it. Exactly. Maybe I have some, you know, right. some kind of role, some kind of personality, but I need more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More to so, register. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what would not be a change of mental conditions? Yes. Kurt, you want to start? Kurt, Kurt, your turn. Mm -hmm. That's question number four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trying to bind my way to essential change. <laughs> Try to what? Bye. Comprar. Oh. To buy. <laughs> Continuing to believe that the answer is out there, hidden in a book. Mm -hmm. And looking, and where's the book? Or, by the way, I send you the materials. <laughs> <laughs> That's really This morning. Yeah. Yeah. There That's you're going to find what you need. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Of alas. <laughs> <laughs> or to plan ahead by believing that a good retirement package was what I needed. Looking out for myself is not a good mental direction. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's kind simply. I don't know what else to say. Um, what is not mental change is um, the belief in that, right? Stimulus yeah. response, and in, 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 like you were saying mm -hmm. about um, reacting instead of reflecting, mm -hmm. that you were just mm -hmm. mechanical. Mechanical, mm -hmm. right? Mechanical, exactly. Yeah. To to me, the the measure is the register. You know. If I still mm -hmm. register the um, suffering, mm -hmm. that means, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm not in the way change, you right. know. Right. <laughs> um, to, um, not to, to handle the climate, you know, the things. Um, because I'm observing myself, but anyway, the clim climate, are there, you know, mm -hmm. um, for hours, for half mm -hmm. a day, mm -hmm. and I'm still looking, but mm -hmm. I can right. take it out, you know. Right. Uh -huh. So how, right. how, you know? So um, maybe it's, it's um, like a, a condition to start, you know, doing something, but uh, it's not yet a, a real change. Uh -huh. you, you understand mm -hmm. what I tried to say? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. I feel that too. Like the mm -hmm. I'm still believing in them when I say the magic of the illusion, right, you know. Right. I still it's believe uh, outside right? if I resolve this I'm now I'm going mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. And even if we are right there, nothing changed, you know. No.
Yeah, so for me, I just said something very simple. It's like, what would not be a change of a mental, of mental condition is if I try and fill up my time and space with more superficial tasks, more objects. You know, it's kind of like what you're saying, like buying the way mm -hmm. to change. Oh, let me buy some more books. Let me read about this. You know, because that was my routine. Whenever I would do a new class or I was interested in something, I would buy every book on the subject and then read it or not read it, thinking that oh, this is what's going to do it. This is what will make me smart. This is what will help me know. Yeah. No, and that's it. It's that. And I like what you had said about having, if you still have that register of suffering behind your actions, that's not it. Yeah. That's not it. Right. Register of suffering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or um, even if it's not a hard suffering, right. no, something just, nothing, you know, emptiness. It could be that, yeah, like that flat line, that uh, emptiness, exactly. depression, all those, yeah. all those other registers that are suffering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Muy bueno. Question number cinco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I saw um, a okay. sentence. Before the question. Oh, there was a sentence there before yeah. the question, right? Because it changes character there, right? Yeah. Essential. Yeah. Essential change is not possible without a clear intention in that direction. Essential change is not possible without a clear intention in that direction. Mm -hmm. So number five. What do I understand or intuit? by an intention of the human consciousness regarding itself. I left that blank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is a big space. Because what was happening was I was just repeating what I've read. And I didn't want to do that. And I really struggled with that. I didn't want to posture. I didn't uh -huh. want to pretend that I knew what that was. So I said, mm, no, I'm you may it. have an intuition. Yeah. I don't have it at that moment. <laughs> okay. In that moment, I didn't. So perhaps through the conversation, sure. something will come up, but it's totally blank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, first of all, it, the question itself creates a kind of a wall because, because it sounds so hard to do. It's not, what, what do you mean the consciousness regarding itself? I mean, that's already like a paradox, yeah, right? right? That's already like a koan in the Japanese, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. With the Japanese, it's... So, yeah, I wrote a lot. <laughs> no, I didn't write a lot. I so you, you wrote that. Mm. I didn't write a lot. Conscious intention of the, the consciousness regarding itself. I just replied it. So the question, the you question, copy, you copy. I know. Yeah. The question of automatic responses with reflection as to how to act in a way that creates unity in the world. The question is that to move outside automatic responses and to move with reflection as to how to as how to act in a way that creates unity in the world. Because that is an intentionality that is has to do with myself, but it has to do with action. You in the world. Yeah, me in the world. in the world. So it's not because, because what we talked about, what I've already talked about, about how if I don't act that way, I suffer a lot. And I can't, and it's hard as hell to get past it. Mm -hmm. I really feel terrible that I've acted like I've acted. And it's not enough to just say I'm sorry that I didn't know what I was doing, because it's not true. I did know what I was doing, but I did, but I... You can handle it. I knew what I was doing, but it was a mistake. Nevertheless. This is real true knowledge. It wasn't taught you know, right. Yeah, I really think, right. you know, my, when you know better, you do better. So, you really didn't know. 
Yeah, a lot that of times we do too. believe that this is the way someone hurts me, this is how I react. I can't let them get away with it. So that's what you know. That's your landscape of formation. That's what you've been taught, or that's what you've seen in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you see it in the world, it may not, it's like, you're like, you might kind of have a repulsion to it, but still, nevertheless, that's what's there, that's what's been your models, so you go right there. So you really don't know deep, profoundly. You don't know how to handle, I right. think. You, you right. know something, you know? Yes. But uh, this uh, mechanical thing, yes, with, mechanical, again, right. pushing you to right. act without reflection. Exactly, you know? exactly. So and we're not you don't have to feel to... guilty or terrible, how you mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's mm -hmm. more 100% your fault. Mm -hmm. Because now that we're starting to know better, I think we all are acting differently in the world. We are better in the world. Mm -hmm. It's not automatic yet. Because exactly. like you said, we're still kind of in this witness situation observing back here and we still don't know quite yeah you can't what what what's the substitute we have so before two answer right right so we reflect but what am i reflecting on i really don't know yet so mm -hmm. okay so mm -hmm. i didn't write a lot that's <laughs> all i wrote <laughs> <laughs> or, or you want, or you don't want to continue? No, I don't have anything else. The next question is the big one. <laughs> okay. So, will you have to share? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> again, um, uh, to me, I always think we have um, always a little percentage of experience, you know, mm -hmm. to, to answer. And another percentage of intuition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think also we have always the, the option to, to get, how do you say, perfection. You can mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. perfectionate mm -hmm. yourself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. To go towards perfection. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So um, we, um, we always have this possibility, I think, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. with the intentionality, about my own consciousness, my level of consciousness, you know, mm -hmm. I can get that kind of perfection if I, mm -hmm. if I put intentionality in that action, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And that way I think that the, the, the consciousness, how was the question, can, can intervene by itself, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Intention of the human consciousness regarding itself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you, you may do something with mm -hmm. your own consciousness. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. It, it's hard. In this culture, no one ever thinks about their consciousness being an object to itself. Mm -hmm. That I would I focus on my consciousness. My consciousness looks at my consciousness. My consciousness tries to understand how my consciousness functions. Yeah. yeah. Through my experience. Exactly. Yeah. Then basis on that, uh, what you say, uh -huh. you can intervene, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Then you, then exactly, yeah. you can intervene, right? And yeah. you can start to manipulate. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Towards unity. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Manage. 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 Manipulate just doesn't. Okay. No manipulate. Well, <laughs> because you're talking about your own consciousness, there's nobody right. else manipulating. Yeah, right. And I'm talking about Manage. in terms of persuading, mm -hmm. as opposed to like forcing or willing. Mm -hmm. Right. There's no will. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about a will. Mm -hmm. We're talking about like observing. Mm -hmm. But that's it. It's being in the observing and, and um, following, uh, learning from the registers on how to uh, adapt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the consciousness, mm -hmm. the actions, mm -hmm. so, that the, so that there's a different relationship between me and the consciousness, mm -hmm. between the consciousness and itself, in reality. So did you want to say something about your what you wrote? No, I just wrote what you said. Both of you. 
I have a little bit of some wool and a little bit of turkey. Okay. Next question. Um, number six. What do I understand or intuit by a clear intention in this direction? Actually, we've kind of covered that, so we've kind of said that also. Mm -hmm. okay. What do I understand or intuit by a clear intention in this direction? Uh-huh. Right. I, an intention to evolve oneself or to help those around me to do the same. Mm -hmm. An intention of the consciousness to look at itself while moving toward unity. Mm -hmm. we, we brought, what brought me here was the, that intention to pay attention to how my consciousness regarded itself. That's how I ended up here at this table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To wrap your internal look, your right. inner right. look. Exactly, to develop an inner look, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me it's about the same, to improve, even if already I have something, or create the, the condition, you know, to, to, to how it improve. Uh -huh. but, um, to move in on, on that direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How? How? Um, mm, I think it's uh, many ingredients, can I say that? Uh -huh. <laughs> Element, mm -hmm. the um, internal faith, mm -hmm. the um, being valiente, can I say it in English? Valiant. Valiant. Mm. Valiant. Mm -hmm. No censorship. Um, mm -hmm. well, I mean, self censorship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, then, if I use uh, all those uh, elements, I feel more connected with the world. You know? Uh -huh. um, and, I, and I feel, you know, my um, action, my influence in the world is, um, is bigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know valiant, that word. Yes, you do. Prince I'm, Valiant. I know, but I don't Brave know it in this context. I've never had a valiant internal look. Don't be, uh, you know, scared, you know? Mm -hmm. Brave and courageous. Brave, and yeah. Grow. Righteous. Yeah. <laughs> I do use that word, righteous. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, but well, now that makes sense. To know that the direction is, is correct, is unity. And then you go on. Ta da! Uh huh. Faith and and courage, huh? Yeah, courage, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because um, again, maybe the external world is always there and is mm -hmm. always the same, you know. But if I feel this uh, thing internally, I can go more, you know. Um, the inf my influence in the world, uh -huh. my action in the world, uh -huh. sure. very large. Sure. Yeah. Because if you go in the, in the world timid, nothing will happen. Yeah. So you need that to be valid. To be yeah. Valid. No sense of shame. Mm -hmm. on... mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right. No internal judgment. Right. No censorship. I, even though I didn't, I didn't understand or intuit the intention of human consciousness, I kind of intuited that um, what would be a clear intention in this direction, and, and what I said is like, I have, it's like kind of clearing the table, pushing everything aside, that's it, this is not the truth, this isn't unitive, which was kind of like, and then putting myself in that situation of acting, feeling, Unitive and going out in the world, uh, and that this is what's in the forefront of my thoughts. So it's like just clear up all this crap. I don't need all this. This is not. This is nothing. Mm -hmm. This is not important. And also adding with with no without the self censoring. That's really important too, mm -hmm. because I know I've I've had those registers and I've gone a 
kind of gone out, not, I've gone out, but then, I, then I'm out in the world and I'm constantly judging them. And then I censor myself. So, oh my gosh, if I say that, they're going to think I'm this. So then, boop, I stop. No self-censoring is very good. Yeah, um, when, I, when I feel in that kind of state, I believe, you know, yeah. the chain yeah. and everything is, is possible, right. you know. Mm -hmm. Then I get connected with the world and with the others. Because even if the reality, external reality is always the same, sometimes if it depends how you feel, you don't believe, you know. We come here, six, seven persons say we want to change the world. <laughs> uh, it depends how you feel. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know? right. Right. Gotta be very important or mm -hmm. flat. Yeah, but we only need six people, that's all we need. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, because we really only need ourselves to do yeah. that, yeah. unless we get in touch with that. Okay, so the third uh, section is converting one's life according to a profound mental change. So this is question number seven is, what does it mean to me to convert my life in accordance with a profound mental change? Question number seven. Sounds like, does it sound, in a way it sounds like a, how do you change a change? <laughs> how do I change the change? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. like, convert is changing, right? Mm -hmm. you can, you're just using a language. <coughs> yeah, but a pro profound change. Yeah. Change a profound change. Convert a change. Finding a way with a center in the world. Finding a way to to move with a center in the world, a center that maintains my intention to profound change while out in the world and not to get lost in all of the desires that pull me out of that center. Because they're there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and if I mm -hmm. go out into the world, I bump into them. Almost from the second that I open the door and go out, so that there's a much different feeling of losing my center when I open the door and go outside than there is when I'm in the house. It's more or less like I can maybe I maybe my illusions are different, that, and then I, I fool myself better when I'm in the house. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm more or less centered all the time, or some of the time, more often. 